What's up everybody, Mike here. I'm about to show you how to cheat some short ribs by cooking them in that slow cooker. So let's quickly go through what is going into my crock pot for my slow cooker short ribs. Obviously, I have my short ribs right here. I am going to very liberally season them on all sides with salt, just salt on the actual beef. I don't want to put any pepper on the beef. I will be peppering the mixture that goes into the crock pot as far as all of the spices and everything. But I just want salt on. So those are going into my slow cooker. Next up, one cup of red wine. I'm just using a red blend. I'm not a big fan of wines, so I'm just using anything that I can get at the store. Next up, three cups of chicken stock. Then we are going to go with two tablespoons of pre-chopped garlic. Next. I have three sprigs of rosemary and a handful of thyme that is going in. I'm going to very, very roughly chop this onion. I'm not even gonna be taking off the skin because I'm not gonna be eating it. Those are going in just to flavor. Next up, I have some tomato paste here that is going to give a little bit of extra umami. And I just want to give a little bit of a squeeze. Next up, I have some local honey. I just want a little bit to add some sweetness to this. I don't want a lot, so maybe a tablespoon of that honey. Next up, I'm gonna peel these carrots, chop them very roughly, toss them in, and that's going to go into the crock pot on low overnight. My short ribs are done. I am about to drain this now that I have removed it from the heat. So my short ribs are wrapped. The liquid that they cooked in has been strained out. This is all gonna go into my fridge while I am working today. Then when I come back, I'm gonna start reducing this tonight for dinner, and these will get seared off before being glazed with the reduced liquid. After a couple of hours in the fridge, this is what the liquid I pulled from the crock pot looks like. I'm going to go ahead and scrape all of this solidified fat off of here, and then the liquid that you see underneath is going to go into my sauce for the short ribs later on. But once I get this fat out of here, this is gonna go back into the fridge until I am ready to start cooking everything up. So it is dinner time. I am finally ready to finish off my short ribs. We're gonna do short ribs and polenta. That is one of my favorite dishes to do. So I have chicken broth right here that is boiling. I'm gonna put my non-stick pan with some bacon fat onto a medium high heat so that that can start to develop some heat. Now, for my polenta to make sure that it doesn't clump, first, I wanna turn the temperature down to a medium low and then start whisking before I even get my polenta going. Once I'm whisking, I'm going to slowly mix in my polenta so that it does not clump. Now, once it is in, I am just going to let this boil until that is done. I also wanna add in my fresh herbs right here. That is rosemary and thyme. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. And I'm gonna show you the next steps. So my polenta has been going for about five minutes. It's not done yet, but my pan is nice and hot and it is smoking. So I'm gonna take two of my short ribs and get them searing. While you are searing your short ribs, you wanna make sure that you are getting all four sides. So don't forget to do that. You'll see me doing that 
throughout this cooking process. So you can see the beautiful color that is developed from searing all of the short ribs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these here so that now in the still hot pan, I can take the liquid that was from the braising process in that slow cooker and get this and get this reducing to eventually glaze my short ribs. We are about 10 minutes since I started the polenta and it is starting to thicken up nicely. It's going to have to go for a few minutes, which is fine because I need to let this go for a couple of minutes to reduce and I am going to put my short ribs into my liquid when it has reduced by about half of this right here. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. 15 minutes from when I started my polenta, I have added in some salt and black pepper, and I'm just stirring that in right now so that that is well incorporated. My polenta is starting to get done. I still have a couple of more minutes to go on everything, but I just wanted to fill you in. So we are about 20 minutes from when I started the polenta. It is done. So I am going to cut the heat all the way to its lowest temperature and just pop a cover on it so that it stays warm and ready for me to grate in some fresh Parmesan cheese and stir in some butter right before serving. But my liquid has reduced by a considerable amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my short ribs so that they can start being glazed and they can start reheating in that liquid. This is gonna go for about five minutes. I'm gonna turn these every couple of moments, uh, maybe once every minute or so, so that they can develop some of that glaze. Uh, and next step is really plating. So I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. One thing that you can do while you are reheating these short ribs is to glaze them with a pastry brush with that glaze sauce that is reducing in the pan. And this is gonna help develop a very nice, sticky, delicious sauce while this is happening. And after a day and a half, I cannot wait to tear into these short ribs and this polenta. I really hope you make this and let me know your thoughts. Have a good one.